I'm so excited by the advances we're making in treating the disease. I mean, we truly are moving forward in this disease. I don't think the public fully appreciates that, but we are. But the biggest step forward needs to be in preventing the disease. I think we're, we're falling behind in that area. And um, we have some techniques, we have some methods of preventing some breast cancers, and they're simply not being widely applied. And the fault, I, I think, lies somewhat with the public and somewhat with physicians, particularly primary care physicians. It's not the oncologist's fault. You know, by the time we see the patient, she's had a diagnosis of breast cancer, but her sister who's at risk or other relatives have not. And these are the uh, individuals, they're not patients, they're well individuals who are seen, say, for routine care by primary care physicians or obstetri obstetricians and gynecologists. And I think we should be applying the, the, the preventive methods available. Some of them are a little hard to take. For example, using a drug like tamoxifen or a drug like Avista. But some are other things like diet control and weight control and uh, exercise and uh, you know, avoiding obesity, there are measures, uh, lifestyle, lifestyle changes that as physicians we can, we can persuade patients to think about or individuals to think about.